So when we talk about sustainable agriculture, we are focusing on um, finding ways to adapt to the changing environment that we are in, to the changing um, population growth that we are going through. Our water resources are getting scarce and our uh, agriculture production is being reduced affecting the economy and this is also affecting the farmers because um, this social stability is, is, uh, is also threatened. Study that was done by the Arab uh, Water Council that says that 18 out of 22 Arab countries are below the water scarcity limit. So this is in terms of talking about about uh, the the MENA region in general. Now, if we need to talk about like Lebanon in specific, Lebanon has always been described as a water rich country. Uh, in comparison to the to the other MENA region countries. But if we look closer and we look at the elements of the water quality, the water resources, the reality is different. Yes, we're talking about floods, we're talking about drought, we're talking about water pollution, all of these are the main elements that are affecting our environment, that is affecting our um, water resources. The population is increasing with the with the increase of population the demand for food is increasing so the demand for our resources are also increasing and when we talk about sustainable agriculture or sustainable practices it's um, it's now not only uh, important but it's vital because because with that increase in the population we need to secure a, a um, right amount of, uh, of food to feed the planet We will be utilizing every tool we have, every resource we have, and every potential in order to advance with the climate justice and water security. And here I would also envision that we, we will bring more focus on the water sector because if you look at the different sides of the climate change, we are looking at um, water as a common denominator between them all. So. To respond to this, I think we need to be looking at a holistic perspective and a systems thinking approach.